A while later, in 1958, master of suspense Alfred Hitchcock was working on his classic Vertigo and wanted a striking opening sequence. So he said, I better call Saul. This Saul in question was designer Saul Bass, who decided the opening credits needed spirals, and lots of them. Spirals are a recurring motif throughout the film, and Bass insisted that these shapes be based on Lisa Zhu spirals, mathematically calculated patterns so complex they couldn't be accurately drawn freehand, and needed the motion of a pendulum on a moving animation stand. At the time, no animation stand could continuously rotate without the wires getting twisted up. The crew decided to use an M5 gun director. This is a mechanical computer used for aiming weapons at moving targets. These things can move non-stop and match the swing of a pendulum. So, the crew set up a platform, laid everything out, and suspended a pendulum from the ceiling. This pendulum had a pen attached to it and was connected to a 24-foot-high pressurized paint container. As the gun director rotated, the pendulum would swing back and forth, applying paint to the cells, and created the spiral drawings you see in the opening of Vertigo. This means the opening is technically the first example of computer animation in cinema, because, hey, it was animation created by a computer. 